Hi folk, I feel the need to provide you with some help around two or three skills that I've learned over years of writing reports. Firstly, the navigation pane. Turn it on, view, navigation pane. Secondly, I intend to help you with captions for your tables and figures and then look at inserting cross-references. A cross-reference is something that allows you to say view something on a particular page and all of that updates. So, inserting captions. Here's a document, it's a little report that I've been writing for a person who happens to examine things. So I've got a letter to the examiner. I have a title, and that skipped past very quickly. Here's a title. And I'm just noting that you need a section break to allow changing footer for pagination because on your title you'll have no page number. You've inserted the break by doing these steps. And the executive summary is within the same uh, section break. I've got a I there and a I, I there, so that's a little footer issue which I will we'll deal with separately if we need a hand. So I'm just going to carry on. And I want a one cell table for a couple of maps. And this map, I want to have it as a table of maps. That's just to help us understand how these tables work. So I'm sitting above the table. This map will end up being cut and pasted from somewhere and it will sit in this cell. So I sit here and I go references, insert caption, and I go looking for maps. But there are no maps. So I go new label, maps, click OK. The numbering's automatic. Click OK. Map 1. Uh, general location map for farm X. And the first thing you note is that what I've got here looks nice. It's bold and it's the right font to match this, where yours will be a right pane and that caption will be italicized and tiny. So let's sort that. We go to Home, and we go looking for captions. There are none, but we click here, and we see that captions are there. We right-click. We modify. Aha! Uh -huh. This will be blue, so make it black. This won't be bold. It will be italicized. Make it what you want. New documents based on this template, a good option, because then it works for you all ways in the future. Click OK and we now have all of our captions for tables, figures, charts sitting there. So now let's see if we can't do this again. So I want a second map. What do I do? I go References, Insert Caption, Map Number 2, and oh my goodness it already knew that I wanted that bolded. So that's the specific farm map. You need another map to show where the farm is in relation to Canterbury or wherever we're working. So now we've got a table, uh, sorry, we have two captions that are now working for us. Let's do that one more time. We've got a table here. Uh, I just did that a minute ago, so let's kill it and start again. We've got a table. We references, insert caption. It's not a map. It's a table. OK, Table 1, uh, Historical, Dairy Farm Payouts, 2000-2017, for Fonterra, and so on. So we've got a, a table. And 
OK, after some more text, a figure. Well, let's create a figure. Uh, figures, in my opinion, sit in a one-cell table. Pictures sit in a one-cell table. That stops them jumping around. So we've got this we've got this figure that's going to be put in here by using a screenshot. You know how to do that. Let's create the label for this. References. Insert caption. Figure. Figure one. Blah, blah, and more blah. Okay, so we've got a figure, we've got tables, and we've got maps. We want these to appear in our tables of contents. I reckon most of you know how to do that. So let's just move to a table of tables. So I'll just kill all of that. And I'll kill that. So we want to insert a table of tables. This is right here. References. Insert table of figures. And we want to put the tables in first. So we'll put the tables in first. OK, so there's our tables. And we can put a little heading up here. Table of tables. And we can bold that if we want. We might as well have that. Control C, Control V, and Control V. So one of those is a table of tables, table of figures. And I know it's unlikely that you want a table of maps, but I got started, so I got a bit carried away. I wanted to show you how you can create a whole new one, a whole new label because maps didn't exist in their options. Table of tables. So now I think it was references. Insert table of tables. OK. Table of figures. Insert table of figures. And the table of maps is pretty much the same. So there we have it. Before I finish, I just want to remind you, I'm going to write it here, reminder. To create this system and print properly, please Control A and F9. Control A selects all text. F9 allows you to update each of these individually. So let's do that. Control A, F9, update entire table. That's the table of contents. That's the table of tables. That's the table of figures. And that's the table of maps. What a pain. But it means that all of the paging is working properly for you. Before I finish, I promised to talk to you about insert cross references. So I'm in the middle of my text and I want to be able to talk about the map that we had up above, and I'm not sure what page it's on. Refer to, and we put in a cross-reference, refer to map. I can use the entire caption or just the label and number, map 1, the page number. So let's do the entire caption, insert, close, refer to map one general location for farm X on page, insert cross reference for the map, this time just the page number, insert, close on page one, which shows OK, that was cross-references. Those cross-reference pages might get out of date, but remember, Control-A, F9 to update everything, and now you can shift an item around in your document by using this to see how the document is working. You can move things around, and all of your figure numbers, all of your table numbers, 
will be sweet. I wish you all the very best. Cheers, Dave.